in a helicopter that's only going to get you to go up momentarily two seconds maybe after that it starts acting as brakes so if I pull up right now okay I went up a little bit and nope I'm going down and down now I just broke the rule right there about settling with power we were under 30 knots and I went more than 300 feet per minute down it's not modeled into this aircraft I got away with something okay the aircraft is letting me cheat which I shouldn't be doing so you can see the inputs right here I'm flying around with some roll on okay so I've got positive roll on which means I'm pulling right so I just clicked the right roll five times one two three four five more now here's a pain in the neck point sometimes what's causing your roll is actually your yaw trim sometimes what's causing your yaw is your roll trim this can happen in a fixed wing I understand that it's a lot more likely to happen in a helicopter so it's another interesting thing to note you see that we're sitting relatively still okay yet look right here we are at 10 percent up 15 percent up the 429 as I said flies with an upward angle the nose in the air I'm dropping down now to five degrees down I'm sorry five degrees up okay and now I will go into what the what it says here is level flight okay telephone call they're going to have to leave a message okay now this is supposedly level flight and you can see we reversed our backward motion and now we're going forward so that's of course with the 429 speaking of interesting things with the 429 the terrain radar we turned on the radar right there next to the TCAS on is your radar button and now we have terrain radar it's just cutesy um, I have found that it's not always completely accurate when I'm flying in mountains so if you're in clouds don't depend on it you can be flying over some things that are green and green does not necessarily mean that they are below you although it probably should okay now we have ATL we understand what ATL is so I reduce the collective 30 percent collective leaning forward as I gain speed now remember it's 30 percent collective but it reads 71 as we're gaining speed here we're beginning to level off on the VSI speed is here VSI is here compass is here altitude is here so my apologies for the frame rate I don't have the latest and greatest but she gets the job done <coughs> excuse me and by the way welcome to Cleveland what used to be the mistake by the lake is actually very nice right now it's a very nice place to live a lot of culture Broadway shows fantastic food the lake is getting cleaned up okay we don't have quite that many boats out but you know you get boats lots of swimming lots of national parks uh, an actual national park which is very rare uh, and just a really nice place to live in fact I've lived in a whole bunch of cities and uh, I'm, I see myself staying here so anyway as you can see right now I have 22 on the rudder 23 on the rudder negative 5 I'm not rolling anymore okay now I gotta pull up pull up okay but watch my speed because if I pull up in order to try to rise watch my speed plummet ok 
okay? When you're dealing with a helicopter, again, you want to use collective to pull yourself up. For the most part. Now, there are a lot of fun things you can do with a helicopter. Um, these things will improve your skill level. One of them is called, is a little game that we do in X-Plane that you cannot do in, uh, in uh, FX, FS, sorry, Microsoft. Um, it's called Follow That Car. You can start out the easier version of Follow That Car. It must be morning traffic. There's more going north than south. Okay, the easier version of Follow That Car is staying up a little high and following the faster cars, which are doing 50. 50 to 60. Okay, and just pick a car or two and try to stay with them. Sometimes this is easier than others. But you're looking to try to regulate your speed. Okay, I'm doing 50, apparently they're not. And by the way, when you start really goofing off, I mean, come on, who among us has not had dreams of skimming along the freeway in a helicopter you know, flying underneath the road signs. Got it, yeah. Okay. This is a slightly more advanced version of it. You notice I'm inducing uh, rudder and roll, rudder and roll. Ah, there's another car. Let's stay with him. But let's make this a little easier and rise up some. Um, okay, that's interesting. Which direction are we going? We are going west. Okay, this is not the roadway that I thought we were following, but it'll work. So, pick a car. We'll chase down this one up here in front of us. But remember, once you're going fast, you know, drop the collective, lean back, and there's your brakes. But you got to get back on the collective and get back forward again once you slow down. Now I say this is easier, um, don't worry about staying locked onto the car at first. You're going to be too slow, too fast, too this, too that. Don't worry about it, you'll get used to it. Um, the reason that it's easier is because controlling a helicopter slowly is more difficult than controlling one that's going quickly. Quite a bit. So now I'm looking for a car in a residential street. I guess everybody's at work. Bloody hell, as uh, some people would say. Crash, you watching this? I uh, can't remember how, it, I don't know how it's pronounced. I can't remember how it's pronounced. I think it's Crash Lyobi. Does a version of Explain Explained. Um, not safe for work, but hilarious. And a lot of great information. So, and whenever he gets stressed, just, you know, be sure to leave it in his YouTube comment that uh, he needs to relax, which means he probably needs to do a simulated flight back down to Rio and pick up some more cocaine. Okay, I need a car. I was hoping to just run across one while I was down low. Apparently I have to go hunt one down. But you obviously know what's coming at this point. I'm going to find a car that's down low. I'm going to try to hook up right behind it and hover. Now one of the things that can be frustrating is that now watch watch your speed and watch your descent rate right here. In fact, a good thing to do is to 
you go down here to your VSI, okay, one, two, and uh, set it for 300 down. So that way you can see if you are below 300. And this one's set for 20 knots. Um, I would go 30 to be uh, safe. So one thing you could do there is set your um, whoops wrong way anyhow you can set your autopilot for 30 knots and that way it will give you us a, a little marker as to what not to uh, what not to do. Now is this car turning around? Nope. Now you notice as I perform any kind of radical maneuver I know it's going to kill my forward energy. And just when I needed him, oh there he is. Um, just as I know it's going to kill my forward energy or it's going to kill my energy period so I increase collective. We're back up to 30%. Okay, we will try to not fly through the building that is in the middle of the road. And of course, <laughs> it's going to give me a hard time again. Why not, right? Another fun one is follow that train, which can be a lot easier to find a train. Problem with trains is they will vanish in the middle of the tracks. Um, I'm not sure exactly why that is, but I can tell you that it happens. Okay, this is actually rather humorous about follow that car. If I don't find one very soon, we'll just move on to the next exercise. You can figure it out. You notice how I lost a tremendous amount of energy there, pulling that turn. One of the issues I do have with Tracker XP uh, is when flying this aircraft, you'll notice we're not flying straight. Um, so I and I'm going to induce some right there and one of the annoying things actually about a lot of helicopters is you don't have a slip indicator you used to have slip indicators so it's very difficult for me to know right now when I'm moving forward properly and cleanly through the air which obviously I am not doing right now so let's reset the roll. Not sure why that got me a caution, but. And I'm going to reset my other trim. Okay. Nice and steady. Okay, which brings us to another exercise. Um, pick a pick an object right now what I'm picking obviously is this bridge but pick an object to put right off your nose yeah we finally found a car great timing anyway pick an object put it off your nose now if you'll notice I am sitting here my rudder is at about five percent that's because I have my left foot into it okay three two click click goes the trim zero and my foot is now off and my hands are now off all the controls starting to slip a little bit to the right that's okay you can get her trimmed very very nicely okay now as far as autopilot goes if you're wondering about that um, Timber did a great autopilot video it is on the download page